don't have an attorney? Listen up. We have legal professionals standing by to answer your questions and tell you what your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Gina, along with spokesman Rob. So, Rob, tell the folks at home who should call right now. Just like you said, Gina, anyone who's been injured in an accident that was not your fault, you don't have an attorney, give us a call right now. We're going to answer all of your questions, and we'll let you know what your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Rob. You heard it, folks at home. Pick up the phone. Call now. Folks, we're back, and we're here to remind you, if you've been injured in an accident that's not your fault, and you don't have an attorney, listen up. We have legal professionals standing by to tell you how much money you can get for your accident and how quickly. Hello, I'm Gina, along with spokesperson Rob. Rob, tell the folks at home who should call right now. Just like you said, Gina, anyone who's been injured in an accident that was not your fault, you don't have an attorney, give us a call right now, and we'll let you know how much money you can get for your accident. Thanks, Rob. Call now. The Red and Gold Zone, tonight at 11 on Prawn 4. Now in prime time, from the Bay Area's local news station, you're watching Cron 4 News at 8. A protest and rally ends violently a free speech demonstration staged by conservative activists quickly falls apart in downtown San Francisco after several hundred counter demonstrators surge the area and begin attacking. That's where we begin this Saturday night here on Cron 4 News. Good evening. I'm Jonathan McCall. And I'm Justine Waldman. Thank you for joining us. Those counter protesters could be seen throwing punches and glass bottles. Definitely a violent scene out there. Cron 4's Dan Thorne live tonight in the newsroom with more on how this all went down. Dan. Well, Jonathan and Justine, organizers put this rally together to essentially call out Twitter and Big Tech because they say conservative voices are being muted. But before it even got underway, the organizer, Philip Anderson, was attacked and the rally was subsequently canceled. SFPD had been working to keep protesters and counter-protesters apart, but violence broke out anyway.